inching closer to Election Day, many have already decided whose name they'll be dropping into the ballot box, and they aren't afraid to make their choice known. So could all the political chatter about the election be harmful to your kids? Rebecca Castor is taking a closer look. In this hyper-partisan climate, many Americans are unafraid to voice their opinion or take aim at the opposing candidate in conversation or on social media. But a once taboo topic, election year politics, is now entering the classroom, and it could be taking an emotional toll on our kids. They want to be a part of the conversation. They want to share what their thoughts and views are. Well, the responses that take place in those scenarios will immediately tell that child whether their voice matters in that mm -hmm. moment or whether they need to really pull back in order to protect themselves from becoming a target of bullying. Divisive rhetoric and polarizing debates can lead to political tensions that can impact their mental health and create a breeding ground for bullying. That if we want to help our kids in the, these realms of bullying politically, we need to show them in our conversations with our family, friends online, the way in which we should be speaking to one another. Roughly 20% of students between 12 and 18 are bullied each year. 15% of those are bullied online. Bullied students are more likely to be depressed, have suicidal thoughts, or attempt suicide. Watch where I'm going. What a loser. Dan and Rebecca Bird are working to address bullying in schools across the country through their nonprofit Speak Life and Bullying, which uses a Broadway style musical on film to help foster safe and supportive environments for students. They say it's never too early to start talking to your kids about how to handle difficult situations. I think there's always lessons in politics that can be learned, especially today, since politics has devolved to an elementary level. Yeah. I think we can include elementary students in politics to be able to teach them the morality of right versus wrong yeah. in how we communicate with people. Kids are super impressionable. Atlanta Falcon Safety Justin Simmons Foundation supports Speak Life's mission to end bullying. He says political dialogue is happening with or without parents, so it's important to be involved. There's just a lot of conversation that needs to be had on a more regular basis that I think will help our children um, be able to understand and to be able to regulate with their emotions um, better when it comes to having disagreements and um, and have friends that have different viewpoints and still being able to agree to disagree. Both Justin and the birds agree change at school has to start at home. Politics at home should absolutely be discussed mm -hmm. and it should be the safest yeah. place for ideas to be debated. We want to encourage kids that your words matter. They can have a long-term impact on the lives of your peers and you truly are the answer to ending bullying. The National Education Association finds over 160,000 kids refuse to go to school each day because they are afraid of being bullied. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.